Hi, I'm Sue Smith at Monroe & Associates, and we're going to be talking today about the Lexus RZ, which is their luxury vehicle based on the ETNGA platform, which it, it has a similar feature, it has similar features and structure with the Toyota, the BZRX, and it is just the upscale version of it. It's probably not going to be my favorite um, electric vehicle because the range is not the greatest. I think it gets 200 miles on a, on a charge and it's a very slow charge. But in terms of luxury, they definitely, they have it nailed on this. The, the feel of the interior is extremely nice, luxurious, supple, and it is vegan. So you're not going to have the, the concerns of, of killing cows with this one. Um, in spite of the fact that it's vegan leather, it, it still has a very nice hand, a nice feel. So let's take a look inside. They've taken into account a lot of things that can trip you up in manufacturing, um, joints that are hard to align, etc. So like here with this interior panel, they've just nailed it on the manufacturing of it. This line is perfectly clean. The, everything is very subtle, very subdued, um, but very, very tasteful. Uh, this simple color scheme, the lighter color, the grays, and uh, this is a, a metallic, and it's, it gives you a luxury feel without having to have a huge amount of extra cost. So if, if you can see it here, this is a, a really subtle, beautiful metallic finish on this with a, a clear coat top. Buttons, all pretty standard, what you expect to see. They've done a very nice actuation on the door handle. It's super easy to use. You just touch and the door pops open and we'll get a video of that on the other side when I'm seated so you can see it. And for the manual actuation it's the same lever and you just pull this twice. It's got a nice uh, decal there so it's very intuitive. You can see what you're doing. Um, this is soft touch all the way around not just on the upper surface and I know that you can't feel it in the video, but th this just has such a beautiful hand. It, it doesn't feel like I'm touching a, a plastic leather, a pleather surface, even though they've used all vegan in this, in this vehicle. Um, again, here, this in a non-luxury vehicle wouldn't be a soft touch panel, but if you can see how deeply I'm pressing into that, there's a significant amount of foam in behind here and it just has a really soft, luxurious feel everywhere that you can touch in this vehicle. Even up here, this is a wrapped panel. It's not just a, a plastic grained panel. So whatever you touch feels luxurious. Um, down here, this is a plastic panel, but when you're seated in the vehicle, you're not gonna have your arm against this down here. So this is a, a totally acceptable place to put a grained surface. Matter of fact, I prefer it because when you put things into your, into your cup holder, you put your trash or whatever you put in here, um, it's gonna be easy to clean. Uh, nice illumination feature. And then they've done something interesting with the lighting of this vehicle. Right here, you can see this is a little projecting feature and so the lights the interior lighting decor isn't on the panel itself it's actually being projected onto the surface here and you'll see that uh, as we close the door so this video is sponsored by anchor and their 625 solar panels the anchor 625 solar panel is compatible with their powerhouse 521 535 and 757 portable power stations making it an ideal all-in-one power solution for road trips, camping trips, RVs, and more. It features a foldable and portable design and is scratch and weather resistant to last as long as your adventures do. The lightweight solar panel features a USB-C and a USB-A output port to charge two devices at the same time. Equipped with Anchor's proprietary SunCast technology, the solar panel converts up to 23% of sunlight into solar energy, charging your solar generators even on cloudy days. Short circuit and over voltage protection will keep you and your devices safe, and the built-in kickstand enables you to position your panel to get optimal sunlight. When you're done charging, just fold the panels and bring them everywhere you go. 
visit anchor.com today. Click the link below and use the discount code for additional savings. This is the, the projection of the light graphics onto the side panel in the door trim. And again, you can see that this is being projected from right up here. There's a little light with the, the graphic in it. And so you can see that it's projected right there. That's a, a nice way to put a graphic on here without having to put impressions into the trim. You don't have to mold the trim. Um, it's adjustable. You can change the brightness. It, it's about to turn off on us here. So you can see that it's a, it's a nice way. It has a, a gentle fade. It's a nice way to illuminate this side without having to, and, and to put a graphic on it, without having to thermoform or press uh, decor into the actual trim. And you can turn it off if you don't like it. You can turn it brighter, you can turn it down. Um, so that's a, that's a very nice way to do it. It's completely hidden. You don't see that this is up here unless the door is open. Um, you can light this from the back side. There's plenty of ways to have an LED behind the trim panel so that you can do the same thing um, with the turning it down, changing colors, etc. But uh, that's a more expensive way to do it because you have to have cutouts on the back side where it's actually thinner and you can project the light through the trim. Whereas this is a super simple and, and relatively inexpensive way to put a nice graphic on the side panel. Um, again, as I mentioned before, everything you touch is, is very soft and it has such a luxurious feel to it. This is the metallic grain surface again. And I, I like that this right here isn't a, a really shiny chrome. I dislike the, the shiny chrome. I don't care much for the, the faux wood surfaces. And this is clean, but very high class. The uh, containers, the storage in this vehicle, I'm gonna say is not really exceptional. There's a, a small space here, and I'm sure they'll get a picture of it for you. So there's just a small console space. Um, again, this armrest, it just is plush. Simple stitching, perfect, gosh, perfect. There's just no variance here. And, and again, the way they've done it, they've hidden all of their junctions. So you just don't get any wandering lines or mismatched surface. Um, and, and this is all soft touch as well. It's not just grain plastic. So again, anywhere I'm touching, it's got a very luxurious feel to it. Um, but with their HVAC system, again, it's very understated. And, but very effective. You don't want to highlight, I think, the HVAC. Some people pop chrome all over the tabs. Um, I like that they've just gone with a simple little grained surface for your finger to touch on here and adjust. Um, so understated, but very nice. This up here, again, is a, is a wrapped panel, um, and it's, it's soft touch as well. I love that it's a matte finish. You're not gonna get the glare off of your dashboard. Uh, your demisters are in the side there. Uh, we, we mentioned in the last video that we posted that they'd actually tuck the demisters into the, the side surface so you don't see it. On the driver's side, that's the case here too. You're, you don't see your demister, it's tucked onto the surface over here. The seats are exceptionally comfortable. They hug you nicely and they're very, very nice on the, on the contours. So it's going to hold me in if, if I try to do some cornering, but it's not really um, impeding my movement. And the headrest is in a great position for me. I, I like the places you can put it. And again, the headrest is leather feel all the way around. And just everything is super comfortable about this. Uh, one thing we did note is that the belt line is very high on, on this vehicle. So you kind of have side window, uh, small openings here, which I think I'd find that annoying to be driving this vehicle. It kind of restricts your vision. Um, that said, I am not the tallest person. I'm only 5'5". Five five. Uh, but again, this is a, a very high belt line. So kind of unusual. Um, even the eight pillars, covered in fabric, soft touch, not a, not a hard grained plastic. Um, everything you touch is, is very soft and forgiving and, and giving in feel. 
On the seats themselves, their color accents are um, very tasteful. They have the darker charcoal just sort of in a line down the side um, there and here. And then the lighter gray center. This is perf because it is a heated and ventilated seat, heated cooled seat. Um, again, they didn't go with excessive stitching. They just have nice uh, tie downs here and then just a single deck so here. And you can just see everything in here is very high quality. They've been smart about how they broke up their pattern, so they're not going to have a lot of material waste. Uh, they've got a lot of different pieces here, so they can, they can have a really great material utilization factor. And even on the headrest, they have that little dark charcoal piece along the side. So just like everything else, it's simple, elegant, subtle tone variation, uh, definitely a, a luxury feel without being overdone. I really, really like this interior. Um, wish it had a glove box, but it is what it is. So there is an impressive amount of room in the back seat. It seems sometimes automakers decide that the back seat is going to be just a grocery shelf, only your kids are going to be back there, whatever, and it's not spacious, it's not exceptionally comfortable, but this, there's a huge amount of room. There's a lot of headroom. I think even tall people will be comfortable back here. Um, there's plenty of knee room, and truly these back seats are almost as comfortable as the front seats. So I haven't pulled this down yet. We'll take a look and see what this is like. All right, they've, uh, they've got a very nice execution. Again, it's soft touch in the back. Um, is fabric covered. It's not just a, a plastic receiving panel in here, which is which is nice. It seems like it's kind, kind of a, a pouch behind it. I'm not sure what's going on there. I hope that would be durable. But anyway, plastic liner, plastic cup holders so that you're going to be able to clean that out easily. And yeah, they've got a nice execution here. It's in a good spot. This this will be a comfortable backseat ride. They've matched the perf pattern, just like in the front, since uh, the back seats are not ventilated. This wasn't essential, but it is styling, um, was a styling choice. Um, I like that they went with a hard edge on this panel here, but didn't use just a, a cheapo mesh or elastic. The elastic always ends up stretching out and you wind up with a sagging in the back. So again, just a simple wrap, no visible seam, it's blended super well at the edges. Such a clean look, and yet still you can have two nice map pockets on the back. There is a huge trunk opening here, a huge back hatch opening. Uh, and you have a lot of storage. I like where it hits me. It's gonna be easy to put things in and out of this cargo compartment. Um, the, the protection shade here, hiding your belongings is nice. And then there's a really a giant bin underneath here where you have your charge cables, etc. But there's a lot of storage space. There's quite a, quite a big area up here as well. So I think the high belt line gives you this enormous amount of space back here. So another feature that they've got here, kind of fun little, little feature is you can put a credit card right here in this slot or your driver's license, whatever information. It's very tightly held, it's just the right depth. Um, so that's a, a great feature. Um, they did go with a slide light on here with the mirror. So the light is up here, which I prefer to have the light in the vanity. And if they had to run the switch wire into the vanity anyway, I would rather have seen the, the light be on the on the visor um, but either way this is it's nice it's clean and when you tuck that up your light is is hidden again it's super clean interior really big screen um, you can adjust your touch uh, on your capacitive touch screen you can adjust the settings um, very very clean interior so all in all i love the interior 
love the interior on this vehicle. I think they did a great job. Even though it's vegan leather, it has a super nice feel to it. Soft everywhere and extremely comfortable. So anybody looking for a super interior, I would absolutely recommend this vehicle. They've done just a spectacular job. I, I don't think I've, I've seen this nice in a, in a lot, long time, in a while. Um, again, I probably wouldn't buy this vehicle. It's pretty expensive for what you get. Um, and there's not, like I said, a lot of range. It's, it's kind of low in its category at 200 miles. Uh, Audi, e-tron, Jaguar I-Pace are both above that in the 220 to, I believe, 240 range. Um, but all in all, a very beautiful execution on the ET and GA platform. So this has been your quick Lexus RZ interior review. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us.